Hey what's up guys it's Mike here and I'm back and bringing you another tutorial about converting our design into a static HTML and CSS. So in this tutorial based in our design on the previous tutorials we are going to convert this one but we will not doing it from scratch we will be using a framework called Twitter bootstrap or bootstrap so go ahead and search for Twitter bootstrap and click on the first link and it will take you to this same page right here so what basically we're doing here is to use this framework to make our coding or the front-end development more faster so that we will not be coding it from from ground up so what we need to learn from this one is just the basic one so if you have a knowledge of CSS and HTML you can follow through on this tutorial so on get started tab here what we can see here is just a file simple file structure as usual on the CSS folder we just need the bootstrap that CSS and bootstrap mean that CSS is the minified version and since that we will not be using any JS we will not be using this one and for the image folder they provided a glyphicon icons which you can see on the base CSS icons so we are free to use this icon sets right here so take a look back right here So the file, the HTML structure is basically the same but they provided some classes like here, here are the examples. We click on this one, we can see right here if we inspect element like on this here on the banner, banner part, they have a class of hero unit and on the top part they have enough nav bar for the navigation but we will not get into it first let's take a look at the important thing which is the grid system so basically the grid system is the same as 960 GS if you have familiar with that instead of calling it grid they call it span so for one two three four right here is four columns you can call it span four if you want a one column you can call it span one so from one to twelve so span 1 to 12 and for a container you need to wrap it up in every in every column or row you will add it you will do it like this way for example we'll save this for example index.html begin so for example if we are going to create a two columns we just need to wrap it up in a container And 
in order to make the column work we need to wrap it in a row so what basically container do is to set this uh, as the main container equal to 960 or whatever they set it so for the row in here we can add the class of span so 12 columns so span 6 so for two column first column this is the second column so it's clearly understood that this container has a row first row and inside the row there is two columns and if we're going to add another row you can put it this way another for example we have three columns on the second row so for change this the span class to span four so if we're going to run this on a browser this will have a two rows and each row will have Two row on the first one and the third and the second one has third column. So, but before we preview it, we need to download the Bootstrap. So, since that we're not using jQuery, we will hide this one, and for the components, we will just use the scaffolding which is the grid system layouts body types and links normalize and reset and base css so we can uncheck this one we need the nav bar the hero unit and then we don't need tables we don't need forms let's see our design we don't have any form so labels and badges code pre so for responsive part we can include it so that on the later video we can turn it into a responsive one well so we don't need it close icons component utilities so this one in scaffolding check all base css only headings buttons icons in components only nav bar hero unit miscellaneous utilities and components animation for responsive part we can check it all and lastly we can download it so I will bring this into my desktop and create a new folder call it dip we can close this first and drag it over there index extract the bootstrap file and copy this one into our dip folder and create another file and name it style.css so that we can override what is the styling on bootstrap that css on the css folder so that's basically it for the files and then we will bring it over right here drag it on the projects folder 
hit OK and open up index and style CSS. We need to link the CSS file that we've created. So style.css, your site will be dip. And here is what we've created. So div class with a container and in a container there is a two rows. First one has first and second column. The third uh, the second one will be has third column grid. So let's preview it into a browser. As you can see right here that they have first column, second, and the second row, there is three columns. So in order to see it, so for each row, that row, we will name it, or I mean, add a background of red, and for the span six, Let's span six background black or span four background yellow. So as you can see right here, we have one, two, three column, one, two column. So yeah, that's it. We can delete it now and let's try to convert what we have here. So let's start by importing the image that we will be using. First one is the logo. So select the logo by hitting control and click to select the layer. And what I can do is to control alt E on the keyboard. So from the logo, create a new layer, select both layer and the logo and control alt E to merge it. Then select all, as you can see, I'm selecting all. And then Control X to cut it, hit file, new. Photoshop will automatically recognize what are the dimensions, so hit OK and Control V to paste it. Make sure you hide the background and save this as .png. Hit save. place it into the image folder and name this brand that PNG and close it now and the second one is so here we don't need an image we can install it using CSS here also for the button we can style it using CSS so we need to cut this browser we need this browser so browser so just control alt e while selecting the folder control alt e to merge it and we have a exact copy of that browser hide the background and make sure that it's placed right there and image trim to cut the transparency like that save it 
and for this one we will name it bro sir png next will be this one they plan design develop and launch so what actually we can do here to cut this one is to do like this above it show the layer I mean the guides and then use elliptical marquee tool while holding shift and dragging until you will reach the this guide the width will be 100 pixels by 100 release the shift and the mouse and what you can do here is you can move it use using the arrow keys so just move it until you have the exact selection so right there is good and what you need to do now is to control shift c to copy it we're going to or go to edit copy merge copy merge so shift control c you can do it as well and then create a new file paste it over there hide the background we will not save this one first because we need to copy first the other four or i mean three icons to make this a sprite image so let's go ahead to the next icon which is design and move it there zoom in to have a clear vision of our selection right there is good shift control c again control alt c to change the canvas size or you can go to hmm, image and canvas size check this relative and check this left arrow and for the width let's add another 100 since the width is 100 and paste it right there select all use move tool and bring it to the right edges do the same for the remaining icon so i will just move faster here so that it will be not time consuming so select this one control c v 100 bring it there do the same zoom in control c control v 100 bring it to the right edges and we can save this now as let's name it process sprite dot png can close this now and let's take a look at what are the remaining images we can do this read more we can do this on CSS so this sample image right here we can do it so go ahead and cut this one so select the layer 
control click to make a selection control shift c again to copy it new layer paste it right there save we will create a new folder and name this thumbnail inside the thumbnail we will create or we will name this as so thumb thumb one for the other one you can do the same you can name this one thumb two next one will obviously thumb three let's see what else so for this graphic river theme forest active then we can name this one is as mean so I merge it right here so what we can do is control cut file new change the opacity to 50% we can name it as partner one do the same for the remaining partners change it to 50% partner 2 do the same for this mm, partner 3 and last one partner 4 so this one as well just small thumb one and then small thumb two and for this one this Facebook and Twitter so let's just make this 16 by 16 and place it on the center so to show you what's happening happening there is basically we centered it out and has an equal width and height of 16 so that we can do the same for Facebook so 16 cut it out new layer control E to merge it and cut it paste it right there and for this one for Facebook we can align it on the center as well so let's save it and name this social sprite So what are we missed? Mm, the background itself. So cut this out. Control. Control select to the layer to have a selection. And then control C. 
wait control C I mean control merge this first and then control cut it paste it on this one let's see hmm we did it wrong what's happening there what we can do is to control transform merge it again file new and save this as jpeg a, the quality is 80 will be good save this and we will name this one as hero unit dot jpg so I think we don't miss anything and we actually export the images so the next thing we need to do since we have it is we can mark up the HTML so let's test it if the styles are working so body background red if we done it correctly so here it's working so we can start marking up the HTML so in the body tag inside it let's start marking up So in here, we can do is make this as a hero unit since as you can see right here, actually in this example they are using carousel since they want to move the things the images move as well as the content but as what I'm telling you we will be focusing only on marking it up as a static one without any jQuery or something else so what we are focusing is to mark up the HTML properly and style the elements so if you have the basic knowledge of CSS and HTML we can do this easily so let's and for this example as you can see in this right here they are using a class of hero unit so we can use the class of hero unit to wrap this up and we can actually place the navigation inside the hero unit and as well as the content so let's do it so what we can do is first we need to create a div with a class of hero unit make sure you end and comment out the closing div and hero unit next is to add a container to make the content on the center of the page so div class container and this is a hero unit let's see what we have here 
So as you can see, they have this styling of the hero unit. If we will make this H1, as you can see right there, that this is the hero unit part. So we're good. And the next is to add the nav bar based on the bootstrap markup. So you can actually go to their documentation by going to the base CSS. If you're going to, I mean to the components and nav, nav bar, they have this markup. But we don't just copy it and paste it to our to our text editor. We need to type it so that we will get used to it. And with that, we can easily remember the markup of this framework. So first one, since I've been doing this, first is we need to add a class of div with a class of navbar and inside it make sure to comment it first and navbar inside it we need to have a div with a class of navbar inner and inside that inner div we have our list so ul with a class of nav we need to put this one nav or we can actually use HTML5 for this one by using nav and inside is our list items so here are the list and the first link will be home can actually copy this home about as services blog home about us services blog and contact us and to make it as a active state we just need to add a class on the list item active and that's it for the nav bar and for the content itself we will create another div outside these navbar right here so we're going to place it under it so let's just name it div with a class of hero unit inner so this content right here will go there so this will be an h1 maybe this is an h4 or h5 and a button and learn more link so first one is to have an h1 copy this one second one let's try h4 or h5 then copy this next one we need to add the buttons so in order to create a button just create an anchor tag and put it a class of button make this get started 
and for the link itself just create an empty link and learn more Let's preview this one. So as you can see, we have this, this, and this. And in Bootstrap, they have a special class to make the text center. So just place a text center class. So what we can do here is on this hero unit inner, we can put a class of text center. So inside this div, everything will be text center. Let's review it. So as you can see, it's centered. And also here, actually, we will pull this nav to the right. So class bootstrap has this class name to pull the elements to the right pull right and for pull left and to the left just name it pull left and at outside this nav inner we will be adding our logo so see as you can see the nav here is pulled to the right and the logo is on the left so what we can do here is just add a link and bootstrap also has this class called brand for the logo itself so for example if you're going to place dip there as you can see we have this one navigation on the right logo on the left So class brand dip, we done it right. So what else? Let's see. I think we need to place this on the inner nav. Because as you can see right here, there is no padding place it right there let's preview this and yeah that is correct so basically we're almost done on on this section for the HTML markup and for the image itself I think we will be using that as a background on the CSS part and also for the background of this one but the markup of the of this one is already set I think let's move on to the next one or maybe we can actually add the image so on this hero unit right here we can place the image so what is the name of the image we call it browser i think browser yep browser.png browser.png close this i mean delete that and let's see Oh, it's there. It's looking good. It's in place. Oh, yeah. 
let's proceed to the next one so and hero unit create another div mm -hmm. create another div for this one and we will name this as process so div within class or ID of process just make it as an ID since this will be the only one using it so ID process inside the ID create a new div with a class of container to center it out give a class of row to create a row and inside the row we need one two three four so four columns so since 12 divided by four is three we need to am i right four four eight twelve yeah three so div with a class of span three column one column one column four three two one let's see Mm-hmm. And process. So we have column one, two, three, four. That is right. And for each column, we need to create a class for each one so give class of plan for this one I will just fill it with this into h2 plan copy the text this one place it there bring it over here and let's create a button so what we can do is class button read more let's see yup what we can actually do is make the button large on the hero unit part so get started button large and also we can change the button to primary so that since it is unique right here that has a color red and for the normal buttons will have this color so if you look at here buttons they have this button button primary the de default one is button only so let's just use it let's see so we have it right button primary and for this is normal one only have white one so continue what you can actually do is add a class of text center to center it out and for the icon itself we will just wrap it in a span with a class of let's see let's name this process icon so the process icon 
will contain the sprite images since they are have different image I mean different image for each process icon we will create another class of icon plan and let's leave it a blank so and nbsp to add a blank space and then it's good to go let's make this design i design do the same here process I mean develop i develop design plan develop and lastly launch i launch I name mean this as well launch develop design plan design preview it so for now let's leave it blank on the css part we will adding that icon so yeah that's basically it for this part so let's move to the portfolio part so the same structure again just need to create a div with an id of portfolio div with a class of container div with a class of row and portfolio and inside this row we have the same structure so let's go ahead so div with a class of span three for the first span what we can do is hmm so h h3 to have a I'm thinking they have the same plan and portfolio heading size what we can actually check so if it's h231 and h3 will be 24 I think 24 to 23 and for h4 will be 18 or 17 so let's make everything h4 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 h4, h4. 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 So portfolio text. Copy the text. And a link. So basically, uh, I mean, what the browser I'm using is in type. So this is my browser if you can see the old tutorials of me I've introduced this browser which is in type which is I like it's free on Windows so target you can delete that our portfolio 
for the this one so it's this image plus this text so what we can do is to wrap it up in a div and then we just put the image and the this text so 14 this will be h5 first web designer and for this one we can just make this small and with a class of category on web design and let's bring up the image 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 thumbnail as far as you remember we've placed it on the images folder thumbnail and for this one we just name this thumb one thumbnail thumb one dot png do this copy this place it right there thumb two RV RV huh what a cute name uh, web design phone three now uh, lab zip let's just change this to logo design as far as I remember web design logo design yep that's it let's see and each div I put a class of text center class text center just copy it and as you can see right here we have this border frame what we can do is on bootstrap they have this image right here image Polaroid so we can do it by adding a class of image Polaroid do it the same Review this and boom, it's there. So our portfolio is in place, everything is in place. So next one will be the partners partners section. So div id partners do the same div class container div class of row and so again it has a four columns but what we can actually do is to do this we can do it this way image thumbnail thumbnail and we name it as part one dot png can copy this one beat it to four times so in each row we will have a div class of span 12 and make this tag center something like that as you can see it's there you can just add a margin to the left or I mean right to make it happen or what you can do is to do this the other thing you can do is you can create a div with a class of span3 and make it text center so that 
on the CSS part we will not be adding that margin so by doing so like this one and just make this four three two we have a nicely centered partners right there so this is the end of partners and partners now we can do is to mark up the footer section or the widget section so give it an ID of widgets widgets close the widgets and widgets do it again class container so as you can see when you type it it's more easier to remember and you're getting familiar with it so div with a class of row and the framework is very easy to use and there are really tons of helpful classes to make the development more faster and with this as you can see you have a clear vision of what you are coding which is exactly the structure structure is the same with this one so do it the same as well do it with a class of span free and inside this span we will create class of testimonials blog data tweets so testimonials and inside the testimonials there will be an image image thumbnail you can remember thumbnail we name it um small thumb small thumb dot png small thumb one dot png and there will be a block block code and a paragraph so if you can remember black block code is for codes and inside the black code this one will be a site so nine gag so br to put the link here what will be the link is 9gog.com so that's it let's see What we can actually do is to have a class of pull right. Oops. The image itself should be pull left. So, yeah. We can style this out to align this right here by just applying an overflow hidden. We'll fix that. So testimonials and, and testimonials next part will be blog small thumb needing that we don't need that and blog what we'll be needing is to actually we forgot an h4 
testimonials testimonials yep h4 latest our latest post post do the same tweet tweets and we can create and give it a class of post list or let's see blog list or can actually create an article for that so that it makes sense article or let's just do it dev then inside it there will be a list so or we can just change this to ul and there will be a list of posts makes sense so just a title let's make this h4 so it's lower than h4 so let's make this h5 and is it right there and each title will be a link so a h a ref there will be a meta what we can do is make this small posted by href admin do duplicate this three times then just change this to three two and I think it's good yup oops I think we did it wrong container that's it and this pen is wrong we need to make this pen 4 yep that's good so latest tweets or latest so latest tweets latest tweets and then on latest tweets will be have the same one ul name this tweet lists lists same as this one there will be an li tag plus the image and then the text so it's just a simple image with the right path image thumbnail small thumb one dot png or thumb two for my picture right here thumb two and there will be a paragraph paragraph with a link so href duplicate this two times make this 
one change the thumbnail and erase this width and height something like that will do and lastly the footer can actually do is widgets and widgets there then let's create a footer so footer what will be inside the footer why is it that I can type it correctly footer footer inside it will be a class of container there with a class of row and inside that row there will be a link and the social icons so what we can do is so row div class of or we can do it like this one div with a class of or make this as ul ul class of footer links and that footer links will be this one home about a services blog so home hmm need to have an anchor home about us services blog contact us here with a class of span 12 make this text center next will be another div this will be for the social icons so a let's add a class of twitter button twitter follow us on twitter the other one is like us on facebook so facebook and inside it let's create a span for the icons so as we name it and nbsp class social sprite then make this twitter so the icons we've created that we name it social sprite that png will go here so facebook 
that will be good and lastly is the copyright so it's just a small with an anchor tag and this will be dip and this one and copy dip 2013 let's see how it looks like so twitter dip so what we can actually do right here on the links we need to wrap it in a div or we can wrap it in a nav with a class of table I will explain later on why I why we need to wrap it with another div or this nav tag to in order to center this ul to the whole layout but for now the mock-up is correct as far as I can see it let's review this one so for dip right here starting from the top we have the logo the so the navigation bar the heading the gets call to action get started learn more the browser itself and for this one plan design develop launch on the process section and for this section we have portfolio which is white as well as you can see the partners the widget section it's correctly marked up and for the footer one the navigation the button and the copyright what we can actually do is to make this section 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 then as well as that one so we've done it right so on the next part we will be styling this out using CSS so by the using of this style we will overwrite the styling of this one to match with our own styles so I hope you find this useful and easy to follow using the bootstrap so if you just have the the, the knowledge of basic CSS and HTML you can follow through and it's very easy to use for faster development you don't need to code this from the ground up so what you need to do is just to call the right classes bootstrap has provided so on the next one I'm going to show you how to style it so make sure to watch it so I'll see you guys on the next one